Do we have to pay to use Java now? In fact, last week I got a message from one of my friends asking, hey, do we have to pay a subscription fee to Oracle to use Java now? Is it true? Let's find out in this video. Welcome back aliens, my name is Darwin Reddy and let's find out the answer. When Sun Microsystem released Java in 1995 and after a few years it got famous, right? And then Sun promised that Java will be free and open source. And for that they have also created OpenJDK and which is open for everyone. You can use it for free and you can also customize as per your needs. In fact, there are so many versions of JDK available, right? From different companies. And one of them is Oracle JDK and the other one is OpenJDK, which is quite famous. And then we have other JDKs as well. Now the open JDK is free to use. It's open source as everyone can use it. You can use it for your personal use, for non-commercial use and for educational plus commercial use as well. So you can use open JDK everywhere. You don't have to pay a single amount. On the other hand, we have the Oracle JDK, right? And Oracle is working so hard nowadays, you know, they have changed their release cycle from years to now six months. So every six months, you will be getting a new Java update. So we got Java 9, Java 10, Java 11 in just one and a half year, right? So September 2018, we are getting Java 11, which is JDK 11. And of course, it has amazing features. Now, the, what happens with the previous versions, right? For the new version, of course, you'll be getting a lot of updates. And when I say updates, it's some of the updates are related to features, which is okay. There are some updates which are related to security, right? So every day, you know, there are a lot of things which we have to secure. And of course, Oracle makes sure that you will get security updates very often, right? And that's very important for us. But what happens with the older version? Let's say we talk about Java 6 and we talk about Java 7, right? Now these versions are outdated. Of course, we should be using the new version, but the projects which are already built on these versions, it takes time for them to actually move to new version or maybe they don't even need new version features. But how will they get the support? And that's what Oracle says, hey, you can use the older version and we will give the support for that. So we will give you the updates. We will give you security updates only for you. And then we will give you some advanced tools as well. The moment you talk about enterprise market, we need some extra stuff. Example, we need to the mission critical tool. We want to provide performance tuning. So we need extra tool set as well. And Oracle will give you everything. So it will give you tool set. It will give you updates for security after stopping the updates for public. So if you are using Oracle JDK, which is the older version, and if you want to get updates, you have to pay to Oracle to do that. Plus, if you are using JDK for the commercial use, of course, you have to pay to Oracle to use that. Because when you say commercial, you are earning, right? When I say you have to pay not as an employee, okay? So you are not paying for Oracle. Your company is doing for that, okay? And enterprise is getting benefit from Java from a long time. And that's why Oracle is charging, right? And there's not something new, okay? Oracle is charging for Java from a long time, okay? It's just that it was annual. So you have to pay $5,000 per processor in a server or in a cloud instance which we use. That is one time. Plus you have to also pay $1,100 every year. And this is for servers. And for the machines, you have to pay approximately $110. That is one time. And then every year, you have to pay $22, right? Uh, big companies, they can pay it. But what about the small companies? It was difficult for them to pay that, that amount. And that's why Oracle is moving from the annual subscription to the monthly monthly subscription. So when you have to pay $25 per processor in a server or for the desktop machine, you have to pay $2.5 per machine. And of course, for commercial use, it's not a big amount. Okay, so big companies, they are earning huge amount of money from servers, from their softwares. Of course, it's not a big amount for them to pay to Oracle. Okay, that's a company perspective, right? For a developer like us, we still have Java as open source using OpenJDK, okay? So I don't know why people got confused with this. We have OpenJDK, which is free, which is open source, and we can use it for a long time. So don't worry, Java is not getting paid. It's only for the commercial use, and they have to pay because they are getting critical updates, plus they are getting some extra tools to work with. So point to be noted, Java is free and will be free in future as well. So that's from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.